Okay, guys, so what we have here today is a no heat call. Um, <clears throat> what we have a code seven, code seven, which is failure to ignite. Seven flashes. That's what I found when I got here. Let's see. You can see that it says lockout due to no ignition. So failure to ignite. And the way we check that is everything is normal except for so the inducer blower kicks on. Okay, all the switches are okay. The igniter is going to glow red, but then the valve, according to the manufacturer, is supposed to be receiving 15 uh, hertz. And it is. You can see that on there. 15. If it's not responding with 15 hertz, the manufacturer says that it is not communicating back. Okay, so. It, the board is sending 15 hertz, telling it to kick on, to open up, and it is not doing it. So you see there, the igniter is glowing red, it has 15 hertz. So this gas valve, see, it didn't do anything, okay? Did not allow any gas through, and there is gas in here, okay? So we are going to replace this gas valve. show you how that's done let's turn off the gas okay <clears throat> we can disconnect the power now that we diagnosed it <clears throat> okay, the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect here just from here okay so let's go ahead and do that Just to prove there is gas. There it is. It does have gas. Okay. So that is not the issue. Um, let me see if I got my pipe wrench in here. Don't have my pipe wrench, but let's see what we can do with this. With the old school channel locks. Let's see. Let them out in the rain. <clears throat> Looks like it's going. It's going. Unplug this little harness. And so now we are going to just remove the whole manifold. A couple screws there. This one there. Simply remove it from here.
Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and put some new Pipe dope. Good to put the new gas valve on. Okay. 